Hey, family and friends. It's we're been, back. We're back. <laughs> it's been another week here in Watulco. We are enjoying our time here. We've made several, I mean, we've made at least two different moves this week because um, we were in our original Airbnb and then we went to another cool little place that was a what you call that shipping container shipping containers they were stacked on top of each other and it was very unusual yeah. it was actually really cool it was surprisingly cool mm -hmm. uh, they had a swimming pool there it was really nice so i really enjoyed our stay there only one night mm -hmm. uh, and then we've come over to our new airbnb that we're here for two days which is an incredible place this is the most fancy it's, we've been it's since we the left fanciest one we've been to so mm -hmm. we're feeling pretty Pretty snazzy. Spoiled. Spoiled. Yeah. Uh, there's a few rickety things about it. Like this, <laughs> it's got this spiral staircase that is totally sketch. <laughs> oh, like I can see where a lot of people would not do it. Yeah, it's... Because it's... It's wobbly. Very wobbly at the top. It feels like you're going to completely detach from yeah. the, the second floor. <laughs> but we've got a nice fridge and it's in a very... We have a beautiful view of the ocean yeah so we like it so we're here until tomorrow and we can discover other beaches that are over on this side of Latuco. Mm -hmm. so this morning we went snorkeling at this one we were having a great time when all of a sudden we saw a ginormous sea snake sea snake and so that was it and we were, we were kind of like and then this lady who got in she's like oh there's um there's some jellyfish jellyfish in this uh, bay this morning and so. i go that's what i was seeing i was seeing these little <laughs> uh, shiny little iridescent things and I thought oh I wonder if that's uh jellies and sure enough it was so we got out but we yeah what a we beautiful left. place though yeah we're gonna check it out again tomorrow morning yeah uh, hopefully water will be a little clearer and then we help save a kitty off of a tree there's a kitten stuck in a tree oh and all the birds seem to like want to descend on it kitty the birds are going to bug you. Oh, but look at Kitty, you made it! You made it! You made it, Kitty! Yeah! She felt safe enough coming down that she was following us for a while. I was a little worried we'd end up with this little abandoned kitty, but she, then she, she went, went off out. into the woods. That That's the thing with the animals here. They have their own life and they will join you sometimes, but, and they're all very healthy looking, but they have other things to do. Yeah. <laughs> so. so we're gonna be showing you some clips of some things we did the, this past week. And so hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, and we have one more week here. One more week. That's, That's it. it. And then we're off. You see that? But you just kind of press this, then you press the plus and the plus, and then I put the thing on there, and literally two minutes ago it was cold water, and now it's steaming hot. And you can't hear anything. If you touch the handle, it's vibrating. But uh, that is pretty freaky. Um, realize this guy doesn't have any spices whatsoever in his cupboards at all. Luckily, I still have some of this stuff left over. So I am going to put that in there as the seasoning. <laughs> uh, Dina, you'll get a kick out of that. I'm going to add some uh, artichokes and some yogurt. But I only have this kind, so that's going to be interesting. Because <laughs> it's kind of like prune yogurt. I don't know. I thought that was plain. Oh well, we'll see how this goes. So my prune artichoke pasta. Oh boy, chunks of prune is in there. Come here. I can't imagine that going very well with this avocado. Um, that, even though I'm very creative cook, I don't follow directions. That's that's a little bit too much for me. So I think we're just gonna go with the avocado and the artichokes and leave out the prune yogurt this time. For um, a stir in their drawer, and I was glad they have you know quite a few things here, but then I saw oh a stir stick. I thought, oh what kind of stir stick is this? Is it a flower? And then I realized, guys. 
All right, so I'm just gonna try to drain this using the lid because I don't have a drainer or a colander, right? So let's see if I can get this to drain properly. <laughs> it's going well. These artichoke hearts. I love artichoke hearts. Now we're gonna put in this avocado leaf kind of salsa and guacamole dip. And we're gonna stir it up and we're gonna put a little bit of this salt flavoring. It's a dairy. No, it's a, it's a salt um, magnesium supplement. Great. And because um, they don't have any sweet spices here. So that's just going to have to do. <laughs> I think adding the salt thing yeah. may have overdone it. Oh, really? Too much? Too much. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. But if it hadn't had so much salt, it would have been supplement. fine. <laughs> I need water. I am going to try just to calm it down with the with the um, yogurt prune stuff. So I'm just gonna use a little here, and then I'm going to put some yogurt prune mix. Yogurt what? So we're gonna like mix this up. I mean, this could be amazing. You don't know until you try. Okay, so now that that's gonna cool it off a little bit. Let me try that mixture. Laxative. That is really disgusting. Oh. I think we should go to a restaurant. That even if I could say that was super healthy, I still couldn't do it. I'm eating it because I'm starving. <laughs> After each bite to dilute the salt content. <laughs> I can feel water being sucked out of my system. Wow. Ready to get some dinner? Yes, please. I'm hungry. Let's go. Tengo hambre. I got a big cart for us. Mmm, it's like a little cute thing. Flour was white. After the flour, what do you have? New buds. Coffee beans starting to grow. Uh, so no. this is coffee plants. Now, ideal time to harvest them is when the cherries go red, uh, dark red, purple, or even brown. Why? This is another. This is another. Well, arroz con leche. Oh yeah, that smells good. Oh man. Cinnamon. Yeah. See where they produce uh, cinnamon. It's they have industrial blades that go around and just get the tree bark. Uh, somebody said, oh, poor tree. It doesn't kill the tree. The tree is going to bleed. When it's bleeding, it's actually going to help it grow thicker and thicker. Oh, 
Day. That was an awesome day at the waterfalls. Yeah, it was really cool. We had a super good tour guide, Edgar. He was amazing. He learned a lot. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was really cool. Did you uh, know that cinnamon grew on a tree? I didn't ever thought about it actually, so I, I didn't know where it was. Yeah, we learned that cinnamon actually is the bark of a tree, and yeah. that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> so it was a very cool day. It was it was a lot of fun. I would definitely do that again. Absolutely. I have an idea for lunch. Oh? Another creative idea. See you next time. If I survive. <laughs> <laughs>